in an official meeting, there are no takers on both sides. He tells the ambassador that unless you get rid of your prime minister, Imran Khan, in a vote of no confidence, which, by the way, hadn't been tabled as yet, but he seemed to know about it. He said, unless you get rid of him, Pakistan will suffer consequences. And then goes on to say, of course, if you get rid of him through the vote of no confidence, all will be forgiven. Such arrogance, apart from anything else, by the way, Becky, this guy should be sacked for bad manners and sheer arrogance. Imagine telling a country, an ambassador of a country of 220 million people that you get, get rid of your prime minister. So this is where it started. The next day, next day, this vote of no confidence is right. tabled in our uh, parliament. In, in and then car, follows... Why have you never made this public before? You are being very specific about what you allege was said. Well, Becky, I put it in front of our cabinet. The, this, uh, the cipher was read out in the cabinet. There are minutes of the cabinet. Then I presented it in our National Security uh, Council, where all the service chiefs were present. Why did I present them? Because this was a blatant intervention in the internal affairs of Pakistan, a regime change. As and Prime Minister, Security at the Council. time, did you get in touch with the US President, with the US Secretary of State? What happened? We the National Security Council decided to give a demarche, protested to the U.S. in Pakistan and in, the, uh, uh, the, uh, in, the, in Washington. We issued it. This, this is all minuted. Then we presented it to the Parliament uh, Committee, then the Speaker of Parliament, then the President of Pakistan, who has this cipher, he sent it to the Chief Justice of Pakistan that there should be an inquiry held in this blatant interference in the uh, internal affairs of Pakistan. Pakistan's new foreign minister says the United States and his country are entering a new engagement after what has been years of strained relations. And you and I have talked about those strained relations under your premiership. Do you believe, for the uh, sake of you. Pakistan, that it is mm -hmm. better to have a good relationship with the United States? Becky, I had perfectly good relationship with the Trump administration. It's only when the Biden administration came and it coincided with what, what was happening in Afghanistan. And for some reason, which I still don't know, I never, they never got in touch with me. There was no uh, US ambassador to Pakistan. I have no idea. But look, my point is very simple. I, 220 million people of Pakistan elected me. My first responsibility is to the people of Pakistan. My responsibility is for the well-being. We have 50 million people living below the poverty line. So when Russia offers us 30% discount on oil and 30% uh, discount on wheat imports, India does the same. India imports, India is part of the Quad, part of the uh, strategic alliance with the U.S. India uh, imports oil from the U.S. But for some reason, uh, this was taken against me as if I was being anti-U.S. or anti-American. The U.S., let me repeat, has rubbished the notion that they have been involved in regime change in Pakistan. You continue to assert uh, what they suggest is a conspiracy theory here. Um, do you genuinely believe that the U.S. has been behind a regime change in Pakistan? Before this happened, before this uh, meeting with Donald Liu and our ambassador, the U.S. Embassy was calling members of, of my party who were, who were some of the backbenchers who were not happy. They were having meetings with the U.S. Embassy. I mean, what were they meeting them? And they were the first ones who then jumped ship. And they were the ones who then offered a million dollars each to buy my other members of parliament who actually jumped ship later on. Why would the U.S. Embassy be interested in, in, in backbenches of our party? So is the current government an American implant? It, it's with their blessings. 
And, you know, the painful thing, Becky, is not just that everyone, we all call it imported government, but the worst thing is there are a bunch of criminals. For 30 years, these guys have been plundering the country. 60% of the cabinet is on bail. You were in Russia meeting President Putin the day he announced the war in Ukraine. The optics didn't and don't look good, do they? It, they didn't, uh, Becky, but let me explain to you, this visit was planned a long time back and all the stakeholders in Pakistan were on board. The military wanted hardware from the Russians. We wanted oil. There was a gas pipeline which was, which was being negotiated for the past six years before my government came in. So this trip was planned a long time before. How would I know that the day I land in Moscow, uh, uh, President Putin wants, uh, decides to go into U Ukraine? Do you, I was do you supposed regret, to know that. Do you regret that trip now? <clears throat> I would regret if all this, if we had known about the invasion and then I had gone in, I guess I would have regretted it because I do not believe in military solutions. I have opposed all, all military ways of achieving uh, mm -hmm. uh, political ends. So, but I wasn't supposed to know. Imran Khan, will you run again? Will you run again as prime minister in the next elections? Uh, uh, whenever the next elections take place, uh, not only will we run, but I can predict right now that this will become the, the biggest party in Pakistan's history because people are so incensed and, and feel insulted that these criminals have been ho foisted upon us who have been plundering this country for 30 years. There is anger in Pakistan. The, and uh, unfortunately, because of all this coming, uh, be becoming public, the cipher, Donald Rule's comments, who should be sacked for bad manners. Uh, there's anti-Americanism. Uh, because you know that in so many regime changes, whether U.S., like in Iran, Prime Minister Mossadegh, like in uh, South American countries, when, you, when unpopular governments are foisted on a people, the resentment then goes mm. to, to, against the U.S. And yeah. unfortunately, yes, there is anti-Americanism right now. Well, that's Imran Khan in his uh, first interview with uh, international media since his ousting. We have reached out to the U.S. State Department today following my interview. They again deny the allegations by saying there is absolutely no truth to them. And on April the 4th, the State Department said, and I quote, we support the peaceful upholding of constitutional democratic principles. That is the case in Pakistan. It is the case around the world. We do not support one political party over another. We support the broader principles, principles of rule of law, of equal justice under the law. And we also reached out to Pakistan's current government, but we have not heard back yet. But on April the 27th, Pakistan's information minister said, and I quote him here, the people of Pakistan are questioning Imran over his false corruption narrative. They are asking him why did he not prove any corruption with all his abuse of powers for four years. And apologies for the technical glitch there as we were wanting to bring that um, up, that statement for you on the screen. Aham Tarin Khabrein, ab ek click ki duri par. آپ کے پسندیدہ ٹاک شوز ہوں یا اہم ملکی یا غیر ملکی شخصیات کی نیوز کانفرنسز ہر لمحہ باخبر رہنے کے لیے سبسکرائب کریں ہمارا یوٹیوب چینل موسم کی صورتحال ہو یا کھیل کے میدان سے خبریں اپنے موبائل فون سے ملکی اور بین الاقوامی اہم خبروں تک رسائی کے لیے ڈاؤنلوڈ کیجئے موبائل ایپ باوسوک ذرائع سے مصدقہ خبروں تجزیوں اور تبصروں سے مستفید ہونے کے لیے وزٹ کیجئے پاکستان کی سب سے بڑی نیوز ویب سائٹ www.arynews.tv ان سب کے علاوہ پاکستان کا سب سے بڑا فیس بک پیج ہو سب سے بڑا نیوز انسٹیگرام اکاؤنٹ یا پھر ٹویٹر ARY نیوز پہنچا رہا ہے خبریں سب سے پہلے آپ تک تاکہ آپ رہیں ہر لمحہ باخبر